How are you today? I am Pamela P. Cortez and I will be with you for today's video lesson. Today, you are going to learn about identifying the types and features of short prose. At the end of this lesson, you are expected to attain the following. Number one, identify the types and features of prose. Number two, give sample process of the specific types and Number three, write a short prose that follows the types and features of prose. Let us have an activity to test whether you have background knowledge about the lesson. Be ready with your ball pen and paper. Are you ready? Great, let us start. Read the following questions. Write the letter that corresponds to your answer on your paper. Number one, what is short prose that contains current events? Letter A, commentary. Letter B, essay. Letter C, news article. Letter D, short story. Number two, what is short prose that is based on real-life characters and real-life events? A. Commentary B. Essay C. News article D. Short story Number 3. What is a writing which composed of more or less than a hundred words? A. Commentary B. Essay C. Mixed genre Number 4. What is a short prose that it leads to an argument or a narrative? A. Commentary B. Essay C. Mixed genre D. News article Number 5. Which of the following short prose do not really fall into the category of the other genre of the short process? A. Commentary B. Essay C. Mixed genre D. News article Number 6. What is the genre of prose? that uses characters, settings, and plots that aren't real but resemble the truth. A. Fantasy B. Fiction C. Historical Fiction D. Non-Fiction Number 7. What is the underlying meaning or main idea of a story? A. Mood B. Plot C. Setting D. Film Number 8. What is the angle which the story is told? A. Mood B. Plot C. Point of view D. Setting Number 9. What element of prose describes the time, place, and atmosphere of the story? A. Conflict B. Plot C. Setting D. Tone Number 10. What element of prose tells the feeling that the readers experience while reading? A. Character B. Mood C. Plot D. Setting Well done! The first activity that you have answered is related to our new lesson which is all about identifying the features and types of prose. Let us know more about this. 
A prose is a written or spoken language in its ordinary form without metrical structure. A prose has different types and features. Let us first talk about the different types of prose. Number one, essay. It is a type of writing that develops an argument or narrative that is based on evidence, analysis, and interpretation. Examples, Self-Reliance by Ralph Waldo Emerson and The Death of a Moth by Virginia Woolf. Number two, commentary. It is usually composed of more or less than a hundred words which has journalistic tone than a personal essay. These are commonly found in some columns in newspapers or in blogs. In writing a commentary, it should be more in the news light rather than literary. Number three, news article. It commonly appears on newspapers which contains information about current events and discoveries in the field of science and medicine. Number four, short story. It is a fictional prose which features characters that are based on real life and plot may be inspired by a real life event. Examples, How My Brother Leon Brought Home a Wife by Manuel Arguilla, Footnote to Youth by Jose Garcia Villa. Number five, mixed genre. It is a literary work that does not qualify to any of the other types of short process that are previously mentioned. This is a piece of writing that blends elements of fiction and non-fiction in a very deliberate way. Remember the types of prose. Number one, essay. Number two, commentary. Number three, news article. Number four, short story. Number five, mixed genre. Great! Now that you know the different types of prose, let us proceed with the pictures of fictional and non-fictional prose. The pictures of fictional prose. Number one, structure. The structure of a prose comprised of ideas that mix sentences and later on, form paragraphs. Dialogues can also be used depending on the genre of the prose, like in short stories and novels. Number two, elements. The fiction and non-fiction prose have different elements. These are the elements of fictional prose. Plot. This is the sequence of events in the story. Character. It could be a person, animal, or thing that takes role in the story. Conflict. It refers to the problem that the main character needs to resolve. It is the driving point of the story because without it, the story will not progress. Point of view. It is the narrator or the one telling the story. Types of point of view. Third person omniscient. The narrator knows everyone and everything in the story. Third person limited. The narrator tells the story through the perspective only of one of the characters. Therefore, the narrator is limited to the character's feelings, thoughts, and actions. First person. The narrator is one of the characters and it uses the pronouns I and we. Tone. It refers to the attitude of the author to the subject and audience. Mood. It is the feeling that the readers may feel while reading the story. Those are the features of fictional prose. Let us continue. The features of non-fictional prose. Number one, organization. It is how the ideas are arranged in a story. The main ideas and supporting ideas can be arranged in any of the following. Cause and effect. This shows the reasons and results of the events and ideas. Comparison and contrast. The similarities and differences of the ideas or concepts are presented. Problem and solution. The problem and possible solutions are revealed. 
Number two, voice. It is the way an author uses words that makes him or her unique from the other authors. The personality and outlook of the author is observed through the diction and tone. Number three, tone. The tone can be formal or informal depending on the choice of words and style of the author. Number four, mood. It refers to the feeling that reader feels after reading. Now that we are done with the different types and features of prose, let us do independent activity one. Read the following statements. Identify what type of short prose is being described in each statement. Number one. It is an example of a fictional short prose which is based on real-life characters and real-life events. Number two, it is a short prose where it leads to an argument or a narrative. Number three, it is a writing which composed of more or less than a hundred words. Four, it is a short prose which contains current events. Number five, a short prose that do not really fall into the category of the other genre of short process. Well done! Let us check your answers. Number one, short story. Number two, essay. Number three, commentary. Number four, news article. Number five, mixed genre. Great job! Now, it is your turn to do the other activities. Independent Activity 2. Identify what feature of prose is being described in each item. Fill in the missing letters to get the correct answer in each item. Do this on your answer sheet. Independent Assessment 2. Read and understand the summary of the story, The Lottery, by Shirley Jackson, which is found on your module. After reading, identify its features and write them on your answer sheet. These are the features that you need to identify after reading the story. Characters, setting, conflict, mood, theme. Independent Activity 3. Choose one topic. Number 1. Playing mobile games. Number 2. Online shopping. Number 3. Cyberbullying. This will be the topic of focus of the prose that you are going to write. 
In planning to write a prose, it may be helpful to identify the features of the prose. Fill in the necessary information to complete the features of a fiction prose. Write your answers on your answer sheet. Independent Assessment 3. On your paper, write a short essay which can be 100 to 200 words about your learnings as a teenager in the times of pandemic. Consider their given rubric. You may continue to answer the remaining activities on your module. Hope you have learned a lot. Thank you and see you to our next video lesson.